Lewis Carroll was born on January 27, 1832, in Manchester, England. Lewis Carroll was the pen name used by Charles Dogson, under which he created Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Charles was born as the eldest out of 11 children. At the age of 25, he was awarded a studentship to Christ College due to his mathematical abilities. As far as physical and mental health goes, Carol was a stutterer. However, once he were on children, his stammer disappeared completely. Dogson was also considered shy, but his shyness seemed to vanish when he was in the company of his child friends. Through an exploration of Carol's photographs, letters, and literature, we will be proving that his fascination with children included thoughts other than just how he wanted to photograph them next. My dear Tora, I'm so glad you're not 13 yet. When a child is 13, she signs herself, Yours sincerely, and gives me the edge of her cheek to kiss. The edge next to the ear, you know, where the whiskers ought to be, only generally there aren't any. And when she is 14, she gives me only her ear to kiss. Now don't think I'm talking nonsense. It has really happened. She offered me nothing but the tip of her ear and some of her back hair. And she signs herself, yours sincerely. And when she is 15, she signs herself, yours truly, and will only shake hands. Letters like this one were written to many other children under the age of 13. In his letters, he also told girls how beautiful they were, how perfect they were, and how he would reward them for allowing him to take pictures of them. It is said that in his letters, he wanted the children to persuade their parents to allow him to take pictures of them. Nine out of ten, I think my child friendships get shipwrecked at the critical point, where the stream and river meet, and the child friends, once so affectionate, become uninteresting acquaintances whom I have no wish to set eyes on again. Dogson thought his relationships with children were not inappropriate. He preferred to think of them as necessary and as a delight to the children whom he had connections with. Once the child grew up, Dogson cut off all communication with them and never felt remorse. As can be seen by the previous images, which were but a sample of Charles's most famous works, it should be obvious that the man behind Alice's adventures in Wonderland had complete fascinations and obsessions with girls. Through pictures, we discover his obsession with the form and the body of the young girl. Dogson's obsession with children is shown in his pictures in many different ways. By looking at this photograph entitled Beggar Girl, Alice Liddell, the inspiration for Alice's adventures in Wonderland, is posed in an extremely specific way. Her hands are out of her way, exposing not only her whole face, but the left side of her chest. Her facial expression is dark and gloomy. Her eyes are dreary and emotionless. Dogson placed her like this and did so in a meticulous manner. Like this photograph, all of his models were posed specifically. Charles not only took pictures of the children clothed, but also took pictures of them in the nude. This painting is one of his photographs simply colored in. This child is clearly under the age of 15. According to Smithsonian Magazine, out of the 3,000 photographs Dogson took in his lifetime, around 30 of them were of children nude or semi-nude. Dogson's photographs greatly prove his pedophilia. He took hundreds of photographs of young girls and took them for his own pleasure, whether or not he was being paid. It was his job to decide how and what he wanted to take pictures of. Another important piece of Carol's pedophilia was his literature. In the following snippets from poems and stories, it should be concluded that even if you do not find these behaviors of a pedophile, 
you should conclude that the behaviors were in and of themselves obsessive. Dogson's inspiration for Alice's Adventures in Wonderland was Alice Pleasance Liddell, the daughter of Henry Liddell, the Dean of Students of Dogson's employer at Oxford University. In Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, there are many questionable scenes, such as a caterpillar smoking a hookah, a tea party conducted by a madman, and the main character Alice and her body changing more than three times in the book. In one of the body changing scenes, Alice's body goes from a normal seven year old girl to a tall, more mature looking young woman. However, the proportions are not realistic. She is described like a more animated character due to her neck being the size of a giraffe's, as well as the fact that she states it would be amusing to send a present to her feet in order to make them comply. Alice's body changes from eating a piece of cake. Considering the relationship between him and Alice Liddell was to an extent different than his other child relationships, due to the fact that he based the story around her. It has been said that he wanted to see Alice Liddell grow up. Perhaps changing her body was his way of doing so. A boat beneath a sunny sky, lingering onward dreamily. In an evening of July, children three that nestle near, eager eye and willing ear, pleased a simple tale to hear. Long has paled that sunny sky, echoes fade and memories die. Autumn frosts have slain July. Still she haunts me, phantom-wise, Alice moving under skies, never seen by waking eyes. Children yet the tale to hear, eager eye and willing ear, lovingly shall nestle near. In wonderland they lie, dreaming as days go by, dreaming as the summers die, ever drifting down the stream, lingering in the golden gleam. Life, what is it but a dream? This poem was written by Dogson, and it describes his relationship with Alice Liddell. It explains the relationship from the beginning when she was three years old to the end of their relationship when she grew up. However, it is questioned exactly why this relationship came to an end. It is rumored that Charles Dogson proposed to Alice Liddell at the age of 11, causing tensions between the two families and ending their relationship. Another plausible theory is that the mother became uncomfortable with the relationship between the two of them. She asked Mr. Dogson to keep his distance from her now maturing daughter. Even though this relationship ended before the publication of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, a package was sent to Alice Liddell containing a handwritten and hand-illustrated copy of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Another important aspect of Charles's literature was his diary. However, the set of diaries from the time period where he was closest to Alice Liddell have mysteriously gone missing. This raises the question of whether or not Charles' nephew destroyed the diaries in order to preserve his uncle's integrity. Now you have been exposed to many different works of art and literature by Lewis Carroll. It gives a look into the mind of the man behind the classic children's novel, and we hope you followed our train of thought to the conclusion that the subconscious of Lewis Carroll is much darker than one would suspect. Throughout all of his work, it has been centered around one thing, little girls. Not men or boys, nor grown women nor family, but girls. All of his best and most time-consuming work goes towards the entertainment of immature girls. In conclusion, we hope that this exploration into the mind of Lewis Carroll helped you open your eyes to all the different kinds of possibilities that could have been inspiration for his book, and giving you enough information to draw conclusions of your own.